Hey everyone, and welcome to another Hemp Tips. Today, we'll be explaining how to prevent your seedlings from damping off. Outside of your seeds just not germinating, the next major hurdle you'll need to cross when starting a grow is to prevent damping off, which is essentially root rot in the seedling stage. This is very common, to the point where it has its own name, because of how susceptible a young seedling's roots are to those root rot pathogens. Although a week or two into the grow, once the seedling roots are more established, it'll have a much better ability to naturally resist root rot. So it's crucial to follow some best practices to ensure that the plant is able to reach this point. Now there are two main ways to minimize the chances of root rot during the seedling stage. And that is through using a sterile grow medium and tools as well as providing proper aeration. So let's start with the grow medium and tools. Most seed starter kits all provide great aeration and a sterile environment. And the next best option are potting mixes straight from the bag, as those have a lower chance of containing any negative pathogens to start with. If you're using outdoor gardening soil though, or reusing old potting mix, there's always going to be a chance that it contains some root rot pathogens in it. So you can sterilize it first by baking it in the sun or oven, or pouring boiling water over it and allowing it to cool off before use. Be sure to use clean gardening tools and a clean pot as well if those will come in contact with the grow medium. Proper aeration is the next step, and this is managed through a grow medium that's light and fluffy, along with good watering practices. All seed starter kits and potting mixes provide great aeration to start, and if you're using gardening soil that's quite compacted, consider amending it with some compost or perlite. When it comes to watering, Remember that the root zone is quite small to start, so there's no need to completely soak a pot because once you do that, there's no way for that water to escape the grow medium if there's no roots there to drink it up. So just water a little around the seedling to start. This is of course if you're starting your plant in a large pot and if you want to simplify this process, you can always start the seedlings in a smaller space, such as a seed starter kit or plant tray or a small nursery bag, which will really help in preventing overwatering. Remember that by the time your seedlings show any signs of damping off, it's too late to save it, and the seedling will wither away and die. So prevention is the way to go. And when damping off happens to a seedling, the pathogens that cause it can easily spread to all the seedlings around the affected plant. So don't plant your seedlings too close together. And if possible, you can separate them with a physical barrier such as a plant tray or with separate containers and make sure they don't sit in and share any of the runoff water. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch, available at Amazon in print and digital, with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.